doesn't fit. I can't wear anything without sleeves. Oh, I can't wear anything low cut. My arms. What happened to my arms? If my elbows faced forward, I would kill myself. My butt is falling. Is my butt falling? Oh my god, my butt fell. It's it's essentially a, just a, a big collection of different women's voices, all different characters, all different ages, all different kinds of women. Um, and the title is Love, Loss, and What I Wore. It really is kind of all these mini variations on that theme. There's something about going to the prom, there's something about um, being in, in, in college at Berkeley, there's, um, there's something about uh, wearing Eileen Fisher and, and being proud of it. <laughs> Although I actually don't, I love Eileen Fisher. And um, <laughs> this lovely purse monologue that Pam has that gets me every time about the evils of purses. So it's really, it's really everything about um, the, the highs and the lows and everything in between of like what it means to be a woman. And it really starts with the beginning of your life as a female and as a woman and then going through um, towards the later years and all the things that can happen in between. Mm -hmm. And yes, they're all connected to something you're wearing, but it's also about everything that you experience in life and love and loss really kind of covers a huge mm -hmm. gamut. I think the main thing that I've gotten out of this piece so far and what I've actually found inspiring is as someone who is just beginning my life as an adult um, is how cyclical life is and how you know you can go through something tragic and you can lose someone or you can experience something that really you know kills your spirit I guess so to speak and then it starts again. It's kind of uplifting to know as you go through life that there are sad things that happen, but then there are also so many beautiful and exciting and wonderful things that you will experience no matter what age you are, no matter where you are in your life. It's love, loss, and what I wore, because even if it is a very sad situation, what I wore does come into it. These Just stories, the they're so personal, it's so intimate. Yeah. And to do it in a shared space, you're really literally just telling a story, mm -hmm. private, personal story, to these people right here. Right. And I think it relates to a 12 or 13 year old up to a 90 year old. There, yes. there, it just There's something in there mm -hmm. for everybody. Any child who's just going to get her first bra or about to get her first bra or somebody who can say, I relate to that. And theater yeah. offers you the opportunity to be an active participant. And yes. the only way you can be yes. an active participant and really share in the experience is when you're sitting in the yeah. same room, we're breathing the same air, and we're all in this together. Mm -hmm. And the that, there's nothing the, else like it. The immediacy here, here. of the story. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah.